Hello everyone, I'd like to introduce you to this multimodal project uh, which consists of a practical proposal and an advocacy advertisement. So just an initial overview, the practical proposal is a written paper that will be at least 750 words, not including the works cited page. Whereas the advocacy advertisement is a visual argument that will be a minimum of a one page print ad or a 30 second video ad. So now I'm gonna go through each of these in more detail. The practical proposal uh, is the written portion of the assignment. Uh, we always begin written assignments by considering our rhetorical situation, which is topic, purpose, and audience. If we at least talk about those, we have considered our rhetorical situation. So the topic for the practical proposal is a concrete detailed solution for a local problem. So what this means is you have to consider uh, the area that you're in or an area that you've been in, your campus, your city, uh, and think of something that uh, a particular problem that you could propose a solution for. The purpose of your proposal is to persuade your audience that the offered solution is the best choice. So you are making an argument in this proposal. Your audience is the person or group of people, entity, organization, capable of making the change, capable of making the decision and implementing the solution that you're proposing. Um, a practical proposal requires three sections and you're actually encouraged to use section headings in the written document. The first is a description of the problem. So that local problem that you've decided to try to fix, you want to describe it with enough detail so that your audience uh, understands what it is you are attempting to resolve. Then you'll include a proposed solution. This is where you provide as much detail as possible. Uh, you provide step by step of how to fix what it is um, you see needing fixed. And then a justification of the solution. This is probably the meatiest portion of a practical proposal because this is where you explain why your proposed solution is the best idea, the best choice in resolving uh, what is at issue. So this argument must uh, have research to back it up and you must properly document that research. Then the second portion of this project or this assignment is the advocacy advertisement. So if we begin with that rhetorical situation, um, again, uh, we start by talking about our topic here. It's a little bit different because rather than um, focusing on the problem and the proposed solution here, you are focusing specifically on what it is uh, you say should be done to fix the issue, your solution. Um, you're persuading again. Uh, here you're persuading the audience specifically to agree with your proposed solution. But the audience might be slightly different. Uh, instead of being the uh, person or entity capable of um, implementing the, the proposed solution, here you may be uh, um, promoting your advertisement toward people who are capable of influencing that entity or person. The advocacy advertisement has some requirements as well. It needs to uh, grab the attention and maintain the attention of the audience. Uh, you need to deliver enough information so that the audience understands what it is you're proposing, uh, but you have to do it in a way through visual components that maintains the audience's attention. And then it uh, needs to be uh, professional in appearance because your ability to uh, persuade an audience is highly dependent upon the professional quality of your work. So that is the multimodal assignment. There are a lot of uh, applications that you can use uh, for the print uh, ad versus the um, video ad. And uh, more of those are, those are talked about more in the assignment sheet. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.